Bay Tiger Video Productions. Well, good morning. On behalf of the entire community of Santa Clara, I'd like to welcome you to Santa Clara. Those that you haven't had a chance to see the stadium and see the wonderful progress that we've had so far, it is absolutely breathtaking. It is going to definitely be an iconic building here to help us define where the edge of Silicon Valley is and, of course, our region as a whole. It also is a great symbol of hope on the regionalism that we all hope that we can be able to be engaged in for not just this event but events for the future. Today we're talking about solidarity around our bid for the Super Bowl. There is no greater place to have a Super Bowl than here in Silicon Valley. We'll have the very best stadium and the best fan experience. We have the very best weather and we have the very best people and companies to support the event. So I know that anyone coming to Santa Clara will be excited. Anyone coming to San Francisco will be thrilled. Anyone coming to San Jose and all the other cities in between will have a wonderful time here. And I think that between the Golden Gate and Silicon Valley, we can't be beat when we all work together. And that's what this is about. So we're absolutely thrilled to have you here today. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to our partner, the mayor of San Francisco, Edward Lee. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Matthews and Mayor Reed for all bringing us together. Daniel, thank you for your leadership. Of course, Jed, you are, thank you for your leadership for the 49er organization. I'm down here to join the other mayors and the other officials, not just our three cities, but all of the cities and officials in the peninsula and the Bay Area so that we can announce our joint collaborative effort for the Super Bowl bid. It's an incredible opportunity. And, you know, I've already turned the page on uh, the Niners, uh, building the stadium here. In fact, uh, I'm glad to actually see this going as well as it is because it's uh, really a commitment to the economy of the whole region uh, as to this particular project. Uh, having said that, the Super Bowl bid is incredibly important to the whole Bay Area region and the strength of our bid will be reflected in the collaboration we do as a whole region. This is how we think we will win this bid. It isn't one off on any particular city, it is us working together, not only on transportation issues, not only on welcoming of this particular stadium site, but all of the hospitality that will be a part of that bid and the philanthropic goals that we have set. So I want to thank all the regional officials for working together with us. Uh, this is not only going to be a great opportunity, we want that Super Bowl 50 very badly. We can smell it. And we think we have uh, the greatest opportunity to work together for it. And uh, not only to win that bid, but to get ourselves in an incredible rotation for other Super Bowl hostings. Uh, we're looking at this long term. And it is the regional approach that will give us the strength for the NFL to take a consideration looking here. So I want to be thankful for uh, to all of the region's mayors, to Mayor Matthews and Mayor Reed for joining us and of course to the 49er organization. Our sports teams are an incredible inspiration and they brought us all together at this moment in time. We're going to take full advantage of that. It's going to be great for San Francisco at the same time. Thank you. Welcome everybody. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, this is an amazing sight behind us here. There are a thousand people working on this project today. Those thousand people have come from all over the Bay Area. This is a regional project with regional benefits. We're only a long punt from the border of San Jose. San Jose stands to benefit just like the rest of the region. But more importantly, it's about the Bay Area economy. We have one of the largest, most important economies in the world. This building, this facility, and these people, and this team are a regional asset important to the regional economy. Bringing the Super Bowl here will be a regional effort with regional benefits. San Jose is excited about it. We're happy to participate. We're looking forward to filling up our hotels, our restaurants, our facilities with people here to visit the Super Bowl just as they will in San Francisco, Santa Clara, and many other cities around the area. This is a big deal, a big effort. Super Bowl 50, Super Bowl 51. Personally, I don't really care. We'll take either one. I'd kind of like to have 50. Uh, we have a great team put together to make that happen. It takes a lot of work and a regional effort, a lot of collaboration. And we, we in San Jose, as well as San Francisco and Santa Clara, are fully committed to making it happen. So I'm Daniel Lurie, the bid uh, committee chair, uh, Mayor Lee. 
thank you. Uh, Mayor Lee actually uh, approached me about doing this back in August, and the first thing he said to me was that we got to shine a light on San Francisco, but we got to shine a light on the entire region and the entire Bay Area. And so the next calls were to uh, Mayor Matthews and Mayor Reed, and uh, today we were able to talk to mayors from up and down the peninsula uh, and Santa Clara County. We also have officials here from Oakland. This is going to take a unified approach and unified team effort, and that's what we've been working hard on. We are up against a very tough competitor in South Florida. Miami has hosted it 10 times. They know how to do it, uh, but we're excited to show off our region, the innovation, uh, and also the compassion that we have here in this community. Uh, my job, my day job is running Tipping Point Community. We're focused on fighting poverty here in the region. And every community partner that we've approached about this bid has been excited about the fact that we are not only talking about one game, but we're talking about bringing all of our people together, shining a light on our entire region, and helping our whole community embrace this. And so uh, I want to thank Jed. I want to thank Mayor Matthews, Mayor Reed, uh, and Mayor Lee for giving me this opportunity. It's been a pleasure. And our bid committee is here. They've been working tirelessly on this. May 21st, uh, we present to the owners in Boston. And uh, that'll be uh, the big day. So this is a great uh, testament to the region's unified vision and I'll turn it over to Jed. Thanks. It's a pleasure to be working with so many great people to bring the biggest sporting event in the world to Northern California. When we're talking about bringing the bowl to the bay, it is going to take a regional effort. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but as Daniel said, we're a little bit different than some of the other folks. We have a, commu a community minded process and we're looking at a long-lasting legacy. When you look at what Northern California means, what's important in Northern California, you're talking about sustainability, you're talking about technology, you're talking about being at the cutting edge. We're, we're standing in what's gonna be the first LEED certified NFL stadium. Now, we're not sure what the certification is gonna be. We're hoping that it's gonna be a gold certification. We're not gonna know that until the stadium is up and running. But what we do know is we have enough solar panels for our 10 home games to be powered by the sun. We will be completely net neutral to the grid for our home games. That's something that nobody else can say in the world in sporting events. And when you talk about bringing the bowl to the bay, we haven't had a Super Bowl here since the Niners beat the Dolphins in 1985. We're very hopeful that we can get another Super Bowl here and have the golden anniversary in the Golden State where we had the first Super Bowl in L.A., Super Bowl I, you know, back in 50 years before we're going to host. And we are very, very excited to work with all the folks here, Mayor Matthews, everybody in Santa Clara, Mayor Lee, everybody in San Francisco, Mayor Reed, everybody in San Jose. And again, this is something that you've got the construction workers, you've got police officers, you've got hotels, you've got restaurants, you've got everything. And it's not just going to be from San Francisco to San Jose. You're talking about from Napa all the way down to Monterey. You're talking about one of the best places in the world and hopefully a, a long time host of a Super Bowl for many, many Super Bowl events to come. We appreciate you coming out and um, we look forward to, to competing on May 21st and, and hopefully bringing back a Super Bowl. Thank you. All right. Uh, good morning, and thanks for thanks for coming to our house. I guess you could say. Uh, but just briefly, we're on the northwest corner, and you can see. Uh, actually, you can hear by the noise uh, that we don't stop for anything, and uh, that's just really indicative of this whole job. I don't think uh, there have been many times that that this project has gone 24 hours a day, and uh, you can just tell by the enthusiasm of the workers um, and the and the work staff and the building trades in the area. Uh, that we're committed to opening this uh, this wonderful stadium on time. Our workforce has um, has grown uh, from 600 around the first of the year to now almost a thousand. So 
that gives you an indication how we are starting to ramp up. You can now start to see our, our structural steel is uh, over 95% complete. You can see the precast bowl that is starting to form. Uh, here within the next uh, four to six weeks, we'll actually start putting the precast in the lower bowl and the bowl will be complete this summer. But you can hear a lot of the finished trades going on. We're working on escalators, elevators, restrooms, uh, just every crack and crevice has got uh, some type of work going on. Um, but it's been a tremendous project, great cooperation from all the area trades and, and one that we're very proud of. So uh, with that, um, I think we're gonna take a little brief tour uh, back down to the south side. If you, uh, uh, do you, does anybody have any questions while we're here? Uh, the uh, question is what percentage complete? We're right at 35% complete uh, and we're starting to see more of a percentage completion each month now with the increase of the workforce. And the question was are we ahead of schedule? We would never say we're ahead of schedule, but suffice it to say uh, we, we've enjoyed uh, some great weather and uh, are, are excited about opening on time. So. The, 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 yes, the precast, the precast, what, the, what, um, what, what we've seen up until this point is uh, the structure going up, the tower, the sweet tower going up in the structure, and they leave the lower bowl out, uh, which is being formed now. The structural steel support is going in. You can see the framework of that, and they leave that out because the cranes need to circulate around the inner perimeter of the stadium to, to set the uh, precast planks, which will actually be the support for the seats. So now what you're seeing is we've taken three of the four cranes are out of the bowl, and now we have uh, put the framework in place for what will be the lower bowl precast, which will eventually hold the seats. You'll also see the field wall, what we call the field wall, is starting to be formed in here even this, uh, this week and this weekend, the crews will start uh, pouring the, the, our, what will be our field wall. So um, with that, I think we need to, we're really kind of up against the gun. I think we're gonna take a quick tour uh, thank you guys again for coming out. Uh, we're always uh, proud to show the place off, so thank you.